Hi there, and welcome to another Cigar Advisor Cigar Review Panel, Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb, Executive Editor at CigarAdvisor.com, and today we are going to be smoking the EPC Famous Smoke Shop 80th Anniversary Toro. That stands for Ernesto Perez Carrillo, who created this cigar. It is very special, very unique. We're going to get into why that is shortly. But first, let's meet our very discriminating judges. He hails from a long line of whistleblowers. Please give a warm welcome to Cigar Advisor copywriter Jared Gulick. <laughs> and he makes a couple of extra bucks on weekends as a cockfight ticket scalper. Managing editor <laughs> John Pulo. I was wondering why you were doing those on those Saturdays. Man, this is his whole circuit. It's a very demanding schedule. <laughs> anyway, we are going to be smoking and reviewing the Ernesto Perez Carillo. 80th anniversary. This is part of the Edicion Limitada, and um, it really looks fantastic. It's a box press cigar. It's got a beautiful wrapper on it. It's a hybrid wrapper. Uh, it is a uh, six and an eighth by fifty ring dimensions, mm -hmm. and the body is medium to medium full, I guess. But we'll discuss that. Uh, it's this U.S. Connecticut hybrid wrapper. So something it's, special. It's, here. it's really something special, Jared. I think you know something about this wrapper. So. Yeah. So it's a it's a U.S. Connecticut uh, hybrid with a Connecticut broadleaf. Um, so I know that it was uh, developed in the Connecticut River Valley, and Ernesto was able to get his hands on it. And from what I understand, mm. he had stashed this wrapper away for a special project. He wanted to do it on a family project, and because he considered us us more as family than even friends or business acquaintances. That's why he yeah. uh, kind of dished out the real good stuff for us, you know? Yeah, well, he, uh, he and nice. Arthur, Arthur Zaretsky is president of Famous Smoke Shop, founder. Uh, they've been long friends for yes. a long time, for years, and uh, he really wanted to do so. And this, you know, we've done some other 80th anniversaries, you know, the course right. of the year, but this one is really unique. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I can't wait to light this baby up. So, anyway, I'm a little, jet lag this morning uh, just flew in from a uh, I had a board meeting in Ukraine uh, Boy, you're on yeah, time and today. I'm the whistleblower <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so now you see how this kind of plays, yeah. how this dynamic plays out in the office yeah. Yeah, those guys are tough let me tell you yeah. um, so anyway um, the binder and filler are all Nicaraguan mm -hmm. but we don't have any details it's undisclosed and uh, it's presented in boxes of 10 cigars beautiful um, beautiful lacquer box. Red. I love the, uh, the lacquer color on that. And the average price of the cigar mm -hmm. is a ten dollar cigar, straight out. And you, but the box even is, with that fast fancy wrapper. Yeah, and it's got a nice silk band and everything. It's it it definitely the presentation gonna, is great. It, it is fantastic. And and if you buy a box, it comes down to about nine dollars a cigar. Okay, so, fantastic. So uh, they're ninety ninety nine at famous smoke dot com. I gotta light this up. I gotta cut it first. The cap is absolutely beautiful. It's a triple cap. I believe this is um, entubado rolled, or entubar style. What is entubar? I'll take your word for it. What is entubar? Entubar is the same as entubado. It's just another way to say it. And that is what. So that's when, you, uh, when you're rolling the tobacco and bunching it, you're actually making little tubes. It's got better airflow. Right. It's a much more tedious process. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's harder work, but it gives you a better quality cigar. It's kind of oh. one of those fruits of your labor endeavors, you know? The pre-light is absolutely delicious. I can mm -hmm. just do this. And the draw, so if, it, if it's meant to promote airflow, mm -hmm. I will I, right, out, right, right away, you could tell uh, it, it's done right. Mm -hmm. Excellent, just a little hint of resistance, but nice because you're going to draw a satisfying smoke out of it. Absolutely. So you were just talking about pre-light. What are mm -hmm. some of those flavors you're talking about? Well, it's kind of kind of leathery, but there's also like this nice sweetness in it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I must admit, I did have one last week. We did it for hashtag now smoking. And um, so far, um, I'm getting the same pre-light flavor. Right. How about you? Mm. Tangy. Tangy. So it hit your palate really? a little bit different. Yeah, it's like um, 
I don't know. It's 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 hard to put like it's not like tang, <laughs> but it's tangy. Right. You know? Okay. So uh, it's 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 about as specific as I can get, but I like it. All right. I kind of found it somewhere in between. I found a little bit of that sweetness, so it's kind of more like a raisin. So that might be some of that tang. Oh, okay. That yeah. you're tasting, but a, a, a lot of natural tobacco taste to it, mm -hmm. uh, and some uh, woodiness. Like I'm not sure if it's oak or cedar, and also kind of a tea kind of sensation. Ah, so gee, that's interesting, yeah, and not a lot of that carries over. So you're you're into the first couple puffs. I've already yeah. kind of burned through the first half inch. You're you're well into it. Mm -hmm. Some of the initial flavors from that from that toasting and lighting. I had pepper and charred oak, but then that, some of that sweetness from the prelate starts yeah. to arrive. How about what do you? What's I'm, your I'm, well, first impressions? I'm getting a little bit of pepper up front here. Yep. I'm still getting um, that. Um, a little bit of that leathery taste, and you know, raisin. It almost, you know, since you mentioned it, it was more like a a mix of leather and raisins, you know. Uh, but I'm I'm getting a little bit of that um, kind of a mocha flavor too. There's a, there's definitely a a, um, a little a little hint of that. Okay. The uh, the, the airflow is, is perfect. I mean, I just love the way this thing is built. It's it's not a really sharp box press. You right. Know, it's comfortable. It has nice mm -hmm. weight, you know, it's just it's yeah. really nice. Some obvious texture to the leaf, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some bumps, some veins. Uh, but too. Very, very oily and meaty looking. Uh, although I'd say right out of the gate, I think we'd all agree that this was probably somewhere in the range of medium in strength and body. Yes. It's a little stronger to me, but I, okay. I, I, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> I'll buy that. <laughs> Can lodge your protests at order in the quarter. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to you know, backpedal a minute on the mm -hmm. uh, toasting and light. I, I was going to throw out a big gun and say, and it's not often used, but it's kind of umami. You remember umami, like that that yeah, savory oh, that, where it's that, get, that, getting everything all at once, you know? Yes, the sixth uh, the sixth the, sense of taste. Yeah. Or, or whatever it is. Which but, I think uh, is mostly BS, but it's just another name for savory. Well, you know, the you interesting know? thing is is when, when you know, a lot of these blenders, you talk to them, and I, Ernesto has said it. I've heard it from uh, the guys at Davidoff have said it. They go for what total palate stimulation. Mm -hmm. So it hits every part. Yeah. You know, so there are some who think that the, the, the taste buds are divided up into the si what the t sides of the tongue taste, what the tip of the tongue tastes, what the top of the tongue tastes, what your soft palate tastes. You know, I, I'm no tasting scientist, you know, but if it's, if the, if the tobaccos are going to issue flavors that stimulate each part of your palate, meaning the sides of your tongue, the back of your tongue, the tip of your tongue, your soft palate, total palate stimulation, that's that umami sensation that you're going for. So, so what you are feeling? I'm getting it all. It's like it's. I feel like a tingle on the sides. Mm -hmm. I taste it on the roof of my mouth. It, I feel it in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, an entire a sensation throughout my entire palate. Like wow. I said, it's so 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 you have already hit the high note. Um, to me the high note. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to give it up with the goose yet. Okay. So we'll, we'll get Fair to enough. that. <laughs> So what are you what are you getting out of the prime what we call the primary flavor notes? I mean we're not even you're not even well into the first act yet, but yeah. So some of that sweetness from the prelite is coming back. Uh, to retrohale this is is a, a boatload of white pepper. Really? Okay. Uh, some oak, but there's this fresh green vegetable kind of sensation. It's a little bit snappy. Huh. So you you, you ever grow tomatoes or peppers? Sure. Yeah. Okay. You know, like when you handle the leaves. Yes. And you, there's that aroma that's in the air. You, can't, mm -hmm. you, don't, you know, it can smell it a little bit in your fingers, but it's this mm -hmm. subtle sensation that hangs on the air yeah. of, of some of the oils that the leaves give off. Mm -hmm. It's that same, not mean, yeah. those it's that, specifically, yeah, not, it's, not tomato plant or pepper plant, yeah. but how it hangs in the air the same mm -hmm. way that snappy vegetable right. kind of sensation from the retrohale hangs out there. In, the, in that same kind of, you it's kind of neat. Yeah, I, I see you brought the flavor wheel. Is it on there? <laughs> tomato leaf? No, I don't think tomato leaf is on there. We'd have to divide that into 144 more sections to get the really oddball stuff. If they made a spaghetti uh, sauce flavored cigar, I'd be dead. So, I'm sorry, finish and then I'll tell you what. I, I'm just getting what I love in yes. the cigars that I love, and that is a nice sweetness of this thing. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, if it is a hybrid, um, 
if, especially if they he, he hybridized it with a Connecticut Broadleaf, we're definitely getting some sweetness off the wrapper. But right. I think he's got some, you know, maybe some jalapa in here, and it, it's just I'm just getting a really nice kind of mix of leather, yeah. sweet tobacco, and a cedar, and that little. Um, I don't know. I, I, my, my last sample, I actually tasted some coffee. Got some coffee, but it was a little further down. So I can see the coffee. But yeah. it's really nice. I mean, it's burning really well. Yep. It, it's it's just it just it's just like the right size. It's six it was six and an eighth long by fifty. So fifty yep. rings. It's good it's ring. box press, and I just like the way they feel like. It's that. interesting you mentioned that sweetness because mm -hmm. I, I this is probably my third or fourth, and okay. it seems that each time I smoke it, the sweetness is a little more noticeable. Oh really? Okay. So I'm wondering if that's a function of, you know, they get they get a little time to acclimate to your humidor, or it's just some time that they've, be, you know, they've landed and they've rested for a little bit, but now they're really coming into, hmm. you know, they're coming, you know, they're ripening so to speak. Well, but that sweetness is really that's very yeah. forward right now. That's interesting. So you're saying it's getting sweeter each time? You know what? For the first sample I had, what a month ago? Yeah. Didn't find a whole lot of sweetness. Then okay, a week or two ago, a little bit more. The other sample, enough that I noticed mm -hmm. it on the pre-light and I noticed it in the first couple of puffs. And we'll talk about sweetness again because it does come back, or at least yeah. I've found that it comes back. Yeah. And it's even more pronounced now. So I'm wondering if there's a, a kind of maturing. Well, you know, Michael Klingerman, who was the private label manager, he worked with Ernesto on the cigar. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he and I, you know, uh, did the now smoking together on this cigar. And he said that this is one of the cigars that will really age up nicely in your humidor. Like I would, um, you know, I'm, I mean, it's ready now, but right. another three to six months and this thing could be just absolutely, whoa. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm just loving it. For that. No. <laughs> you know? I do, I, I do. I just, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll buy a five pack. Well, there are no five packs of this, by the way. It's the yeah, boxer the, thing. The box, the box or, or, or bus. Uh, but um, you, you, I'll, I'll put a few away and I'll smoke one and I'll come back a few months. You are a I'm, model of self-control. <laughs> That's impressive. I can't. I can't. I know, right? Like I'd get, I'd get a box of these and be like, they'd be gone like two weeks. You know? Tuesday, I'd give me till Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. So, we, <laughs> that's it. I could, I could smoke gone. this. I could smoke this like almost every day. Though. It's, it's, I could do. Yeah, it's, it's really good, yes. and I'm not just saying that. Well, see, you know really what? It, it, it kind of hits to a couple of different fields. Mm -hmm. That you know, it's not overbearing for a morning cigar. No. Although I don't know if I would necessarily smoke it in the morning. No, I think it's more of an afternoon. It's a great afternoon cigar, cigar but you want to have this after dinner. Yeah, it's very Jesus. refined. Yeah. Um, it's just, he just, he really, you know, yeah. he could, you could tell, you know, he, he really cared about what he was doing mm -hmm. with the cigar. Yeah. He didn't just say, okay, let's slap a label on it, 80th anniversary, and, you know, here you go, there's a blend, you know. I mean, yeah. he, he blended the cigar specifically for Famous Smoke Job. Yeah. And it was interesting, you know, he was here last week for... Yes, um, that's right. We actually uh, mm -hmm. had the... Had the, I guess you could say, the inaugural the coming uh, launch, out party. The coming out party, <laughs> right, of, of uh, EP 80th with the, or the EPC 80th, sorry. And I was talking to Ernesto at the event, and mm -hmm. we were talking about blending. And, I, you know, it's such a teachable moment to talk about blending because I think for a lot of people, especially if they're newer at, to cigars, they probably have this image of like, there's a couple guys in a room, there's some bales of tobacco. <laughs> and we, we put some stuff together and we make this, oh, everyone, we got a cigar, it's great. But mm -hmm. it's a painstaking process, mm -hmm. you know, where he wanted to use this wrapper. <clears throat> so he's married to the wrapper. Yeah. So no matter what he's going to do, he's going to use this tobacco. So now he has to source tobaccos for the binder and for the filler mm -hmm. that are not only going to taste good, but be complimentary. You know, exactly. so, and it's also going to have to burn. It's going to, there's so much that goes into it. And, uh, you know, I could tell just talking to him, like how passionate and how much of a, it's, it's a labor of love for him, right. you know? Well, this cigar feels an interesting space. I mean, if you look at the different EPC cigars, right, you have some of his everyday stuff like the uh, Prima de Cuba, La yes. factories, it's right? Like the Capa del Sol. Then you I can like that take one. a step up to uh, the Capa del Sol, mm -hmm. there's Dusk. Right. So, and if you if you see our report, we have a tasting guide for uh, EP Carrillo cigars. Mm -hmm. So, if you go to that, it's it's represented in a triangle, and at the very tip, the peak of the triangle is what's called the family series. And the family series is uh, his top tier of cigars. So, this is EPC Encore, the number one cigar of the year, uh, which was the uh, Robusto size, the majestic, the majestic. Yes. Thank you. And there is La Astoria. 
Right. And we reviewed both of those in, in this EPC guide that we did for Cigar Advisor. And mm -hmm. so this cigar, so you're talking about the, the painstaking work that went into this. This cigar is built to be on par with Encore and with La Storia. Mm -hmm. So the taste profile, it seems to me, kind of puts this right in between. So this this EPC famous 80th anniversary series yeah. is, kind of, is, to me, right in between. You have La Historia, which I reviewed for the guide. I found yes. it to be a very sweet smoke. Mm -hmm. Right, it was, it was, it was. I think uh, it has a San Andreas on it. I'm not sure. You're right, I it think is. it does. So it's, so it's a sweeter Maduro, mm -hmm. but it, it's got such a nice, easy rolling character and a nice a lot of complexity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Encore is woodier, earthier. Yeah. And I think this shares a little bit of both. You know, that's a very interesting observation because, you know, and also he put the, uh, the band on it that looks like the band that's on the La Historia, La Historia. because he did want this to be part of the, his family. Family series, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Series, and I, I, I'm telling you, this is only my second, and it's been, mm -hmm. and I love the first, and this is right in the pocket. Well, if this is any indication, it's going to grow on you. So have, well, as we work our way through the rest of the box, I think you'll have even more glowing things <laughs> to say. It's, uh, it really is, and, yeah. and you know what, and it's consistent mm -hmm. uh, in terms of its flavors. Uh, would, would you say it's complex, Jared? Uh, yes, I, I found that it has, uh, there's a lot of different flavors going on, and there's a lot of changes too. Really? Yes, uh, okay. so for me, like, we were kind of like joking around about this yesterday before the shoot, but I even got this kind of like potato chip note, like in the beginning. But it's, mm -hmm. I'm more associating that with the salt, right? With the salt, but it's just kind of kind of remind me like potato chip or like French fries, like mm -hmm. just in that in that wheelhouse. Actually, and then, there is a little saltiness. I never noticed that unless I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah, just, but above the complexity, is balance, oh, and yeah. this is. I mean, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Ernesto is known for making balanced cigars, and he's known for making fuller flavored cigars. But this just or very full flavored cigars. Right. Right. But this has just got this nice play between balance and complexity that's just, you kind of hit it on the head when you said right in the pocket. Mm -hmm. like that's exactly where this is. This mm -hmm. is like, you can smoke this anytime. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, it's, it's just really got so much going on. Um, but at the same time, it's not overstated. It's not too mm -hmm. in your face. It's not Right. You know, too much. Right. It's and just then, just enough. The ash on your cigars, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, the way Whoa, this thing burns, and I, I mean, the ashes are are, are firm and uh, they're nice and gray. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and I just, you know, I mean, we're kind of gushing over this thing, you know. I don't want to overhype it, but it's, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. Um, John, what, what would you say for an evening cigar, you know, after dinner, whatever? Mm -hmm. what, what would you pair with this? That's a tough question. Um, I think yeah, I, know what I, I think I think it's okay. dynamic enough that you can do a lot of things. That sweetness to me is is again more of that raisin esque kind of thing is coming okay. on more as we get is closer and closer to the halfway point. Mm -hmm. uh, so I might go with something a little bit a little bit sweeter. You could probably get away with a uh, a medium dry wine, red wine. You could okay. probably get away with um, a bourbon, but something definitely on the sweeter side. Yeah, I was going to say I would bourbon. Feel. Yeah. Because you know what? There's, it's, it is sweet, but it's not mm -hmm. overpoweringly sweet. No. So I think anything sweet in your drink is going to pull it out even more right. and make it more obvious. So I that's think, what I would do. I think, well, first of all, it's, it's, it's great with coffee. <laughs> oh, um, for sure. But um, I think this is... This is kind of a cigar that, mm -hmm. you know, and I just think it would be great with rum, you know, yeah. or a rum drink, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you know, kind of have that, that kind of Cuban kind of thing going on, you know. But um, yeah, the wine, wine too. You, you tend to like wine. Mm -hmm. um, I just think, how does it with the orange juice? Because that's uh, kind of tangy. So yeah, really. I mean, um, I I noticed the tang on this and. Most of that tang is just in the in the toasting and lighting. It does, it doesn't stick around, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's it's okay with the orange juice. Um, I, I, I've told you before. I like the orange juice because it's more of a palate cleanser, you know. Um, but uh, if I were going to, if I were you know not at work right now, and I'm not I'm not a big spirits guy, but mm -hmm. you've kind of uh, made me into a fan of uh, 
Was it Delmar? Mm hmm Yeah. I think this would be good with Delmar. Because the one that uh, we, we had a while back was very sweet. And I kind of agree with you that it would bring the sweeter notes out. I think we got a little bit left in that bottle, so we might have to sample when we uh, find <laughs> our way through the rest stuff. of the box. That goes with everything. <laughs> but, but what about what about beer? I mean, a lot of beer drinkers. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys like beer with their cigar. Mm. I'm not a fan, but... If know. I was going to do a beer, I'm more of a beer guy. But I would do, for some people, this might be a little bit obscure, but there's a German beer called Spaten, which some people know oh, yeah. about. I know it. And there's a specific one called Optimator. It's a little bit higher octane. Uh, but it's like a nice cellar temperature beer, and it's a little, little bit more on the bitter side. But I actually think it would be a nice uh, contrasting pairing. With really? Cigar. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're getting like to nudge up to against the halfway mark here. Any noticeable changes? Any big shifts? Well, I've been taking my time, uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm still in Act One. But okay. I will tell you from from the sample that I smoked last week. Um, it was consistent all the way through. The mm -hmm. body really didn't get any fuller. It was mainly a medium, maybe near the end it was more medium mm -hmm. full. But whatever he did in here, it's just everything is just coming through. Right. I, di I didn't notice any, any, uh, any changes. Like it didn't go like from peppery to sweet, sweet right. to tangy right. to, you know. I mean, it's just everything's just coming at you just like a mm -hmm. river, just coming right at you, you know. Interesting. Just flowing okay. out. Yeah, for me mostly, actually it settles down a little bit. It's not as it's not as strong. It's not as peppery to me, but I can no, see. No, it's not peppery at all, like, which I like. Yeah, I can <laughs> see where you'd say Maybe that it's been consistent beyond. across the board. But to me, uh, it it does change. It's not as noticeable a change as the end. And again, I'm not going to give up the goose yet. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, it it changes to be. A, it settles down a little bit, and uh, that savoriness that I was getting kind of ping pongs off that mm -hmm. that vegetal a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, so far I've been fine. I've been interested to hear some of your different things. And you said a little something before that made me think of it. And you talked about complexity before. And I will agree that, it, it, that this cigar finds its groove pretty early. Yeah, it rounds out nice. Right? Yes. And it rounds out pretty nice. And, and the flavor builds, so does the body. But it never really gets above medium plus. So it starts off medium. But it, there's, it's a little bit noticeable as this thing jumps up a little bit. But this thing has like some drive-by flavors. Drive by flavor, <laughs> right? Drive by. So it's it's drive by media. it's riding the base notes pretty true, and we you know we talked about the pepper. There's a little bit of it still there, yeah. oak, earth, you know, some some of that snappiness, but some of these add-ons, it just the, these occasional tastes just slow roll right mm -hmm. on by, mm -hmm. and they're but they're all complementary flavors. Yeah. So you get your base notes, then all of a sudden, a little bit of earth just slow rolls you by. A little bit of extra raisin slow rolls you by, and then sometimes it's uh, you know like that fresh green vegetal taste again, just kind of slow you know eases up on you, roll down the window, kind of mm -hmm. peeks over its sunglasses at you, rolls up the window and moves <laughs> along. Nothing to see here. Just, Kilroy was here. Just, yeah. just being casual, I'm gonna drop some flavor on you, and I'm gonna move along. You getting any like uh, that mocha flavor that Michael and I got? No, or? but you know what I am finding in the finish is that coffee you talked about. Mm -hmm. It's kind of in between coffee and leather, and it's on yeah, the finish. Yeah, it is leathery. I swear to you, the power of suggestion. He says mm -hmm. coffee, and what am I tasting now? Coffee. Mm okay. But I f uh, I'm finding it yeah. in the finish, and it lingers a little bit. But that's where I'm yeah. at. So, so, um, so you've got this cigar, and you've just, there's a guy over there, and he doesn't know what to uh, smoke. Uh, I grab him, I shake him by the <laughs> collar, and I shove this box in his hands. And I say, if you know it's good for you, you say, no, I don't know. But, 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 <laughs> well, it, it is, and it is a it is a good good value too. I mean, you're getting a lot for a limited edition, for, especially. For How money. many boxes is this made? Two hundred, um, two hundred fifty at most. Something right? like that. Yeah, and it's uh, done, we'll and it's it one and done. But these are really worth worth having. Who would you recommend this to? I have said this before, uh, but you know, I would rec. What I'm gonna let me let me take a step back. This is definitely for a more appreciative palate. Someone who's mm -hmm. had a little bit of time under their belt to to you know fully you know appreciate what this cigar is I and, agree. What, and and how it tastes. But given that it's only 250 boxes, even if you're brand new, wet behind the ears, <laughs> pick up a box of these and put it away. And make sure that it's nicely kept humidified well, because when you're ready. So it's like buying a pair of shoes a size too big, eventually you're growing Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, you're going to grow into it. Because, <laughs> you, you know, I, I never want to be like, oh, you know, 
you have to do this, but this is almost one of those like you have to. You just have to experience the cigar. All right. I don't want to see people. Left yeah, out. this is definitely a must smoke. Yes. How about okay. you, John? I would say this is one of those cases. Um, even if you're an occasional cigar smoker, but you're saying to yourself, you know what? I'm going to treat myself just to something nicer. But you don't feel like going all in on a box of $250 cigars, or you don't just feel like you know you you want something more substantial than just a five pack. Mm -hmm. A box of 10 at under 100 bucks that is, is a nice treat yourself smoke because it's, it's, it's easy smoking. It's got a volume of, meaning number of flavors, and there's a significant amount of them too. Right. Um, it's, and it's just an enjoyable, relaxing, treat yourself kind of smoke. So mm -hmm. I, I would say if you're just looking, f if you're the kind of person that's looking for something special but not unicorn oddball. Yeah. Uh, crazy heart, you know, tear the, you know, tear the walls down, looking for it, kind of place, kind of thing. Smoke this. I agree. Give it a try. And Give I'm looking try. at the band here, and it looks, this looks like uh, Lisette here, his yeah. daughter. That's the whole family yeah. series, his wife and his daughter. Yeah, I, I love these kind the of band. bands. I just love these neoclassical, uh, mm -hmm. you know, bands. I think that, I don't know if that's supposed to be his mom or something, but I, I just, it's, I just like admiring a cigar sometimes. You know, I mean, I love the red tint. That this this wrapper has to it. It's sun grown. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I would agree with you. I'd say that uh, for the uh, novice to you know you know and we're experienced smoker, definitely pick up a box of these because they're going to age nicely and oh, yeah. they're going to they're going to deliver the goods. Um, but I would say you know even to a new smoker who says you know I want to try you know what like a Nicaraguan cigar. I, I wonder what the fact that this is all Nicaraguan in there. Mm -hmm. I would say, I would recommend this too, just to give them a, a taste of something mm -hmm. that's really, really, really elegant. So, bring us anyway. home. If you're gonna, if you're going to sum this up in just a handful of words, what would you say about the famous EPC famous idiot? Uh, don't sleep on it. Okay. Don't sleep on it. Um, obviously, I, I, I think. It's one of those things where once it gets in people's hands and the buzz gets out there, yeah. it's going to move fast. And uh, I just, you know, my bottom line for you is my word means nothing. Your your palate means everything, but I think you're going to love it. All right, so you kind of been leaving us in a little bit of suspense here, something that's been, you know... So what's the big reveal yeah. towards the end of this cigar? <laughs> what's the deal? Give me the I don't know how skinny. big it is, but I, like I said, I, I didn't want to give it away until the end. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm not here yet, but in my previous two samples, once you get, once you smoke about to the band, mm -hmm. it gets uber creamy. Like it just really? has this super smooth finale that is just like one of like the end all be all. It's right? just like... So, so you've been waiting for it the whole time. Reason just, number you know. thirteen not to sleep on this cigar <laughs> is because it, it's got a nice big payoff at the end. Yeah, at least to me, and I hope you guys, uh, you know, see it the same way. Uh, everybody's palate's different, but to me, real creamy right about here. I say this is a top tier smoke from Ernesto Perez Carrillo. Cool, somewhat creamy smoke, very satisfying smoke production. Nice base flavors, pepper, oak, earth, plus some nice add-ons. Those drive-by flavors, yeah. that's what keeps it interesting. And again, like you said, don't sleep on it. You I, I would ditto that, and I would add that you're getting like a, like a $15 cigar for uh, about 10 bucks or less. So Smokes much yeah, higher than its really, price tag. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really elegant, refined. It's everything that a, a fine, premium, handmade cigar should be. So anyhow, thank you for watching our review today of the EPC 80th Anniversary for Famous Smoke Shop. Uh, this is a Toro. It's only made in one size, box pressed. And uh, remember that they are available at famous-smoke.com. Don't forget to uh, follow cigaradvice.com. Sign up for our email list. You can also follow us and like us on YouTube mm -hmm. and on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Right. And um, if and can I just say, yeah. if you like this video and you like the cigar, hit like on this video now and subscribe and get notifications. So the next time we do a review and you want to hear the details, we'll send you a notification that you ch tune into Cigar Advisor. All right, guys, thanks we for- You can see uh, more of us? A whole lot more. All right, well, guys, thanks for chiming in and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time at CigarAdvisor.com. Happy smokes.